Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Something a little different today. I'm coming with a review of the Tapio V. Or should we say the Tapio 5 maybe. Maybe there is uh, different ones of these. I'm actually unsure. But this is a soundbar guys and apparently it's for a smaller room. Hence why I'm doing it in the bedroom. So let's check it out. Take a look. Not much to see on the box, it just tells you some specs there. So if you wanna pause the video and see them specs, then you can. A subwoofer is included with this soundbar. So there's some more specs. This is what you get inside the packaging. So I think this must be the subwoofer. This must be the soundbar itself. Comes with a nice remote control. Power adapter. You get an aux in, aux out thingy, whatever. And you also, which is pretty good, get an optical cable. So if you, you know, can use that, I would definitely take advantage of that. The first thing I believe you have to do is attach each end to make one big soundbar. And if you look at each end, you, you've got like a, you know, you can see the grooves where it connects together. So we'll put that in. So it's very easy to connect. And as you can see, you're left with this long soundbar. You get this little attachment inside the box too, which I believe you put one end in there and one end in there to make the soundbar complete. Then you grab your subwoofer and get the wire. And I believe that will go in sub out. Just one little thing to note, the remote control does not come with batteries and it will take two triple A's. Before we get going, I just wanted to point out what I've missed. We've uh, we've also got some controls on the actual soundbar itself. We've got space for a USB. We've got space for a little micro SD card. And then of course you've got your on and off buttons, play and volume controls here and skip back and forth. Let's just check out the remote control, see some of the features. Obviously you've got your on and off here. Uh, you've got a mode button, which is short press to the button. Uh, includes modes like Bluetooth, optical, aux, USB, or the uh, micro SD card. You've also got LED on or off, which is there. You've also got these buttons here, obviously music, movie, bass, news, and game. So I suppose if you're playing a game, you would choose that option and so on. But as I say, let's get to the good stuff. Let's hear it again without the sound bar. Right, here we go then guys, so, let's uh, press the on switch, I've got it connected by optical, here we go. <laughs> anyway, I've only just got off the phone to my mum, so we're going to start Lacey on some school work in a minute, although she's so one so she's having the bike three. Off. So as you can tell it, I mean I hope it's coming across on camera, but you can really tell. Like a bit of crumpet, don't we? and then what I've got to do later. In my opinion, that works really, really well. And yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with that because I was told this is for a smaller setup, smaller room. But I even think in my living room, you'd be able to tell the difference with that. Also do get some wall plugs and a screw to uh, mount it. I've just moved the subwoofer over there. And we're going to try again, and then you've got yourself some surround sound. Are you ready? Always remember, empty your beaver bag. Forgot to show you uh, Chloe's birthday cake that she chose. Now, the one in Asda she wanted was, um, do you know what? Hang on, Lace. I can't even remember now. But, um, yeah, they didn't have that one in, so she, she chose this one. So there we have it guys, that is the Tapio V or the Tapio 5. In my opinion, I think it really made a difference. And if this is something you're in the market for, then I think go ahead and grab yourself one. All links will be in the description below guys, and you never know, there might even be a discount code. Till the next one, peace.